All right, so it was recently the Atlanta Pen Show, and it was my first pen show. Uh, so I was really excited to go see it and see what pen shows were like. I watched a bunch of videos online of what they're like. I'll have some links down below to some good videos to see what pen shows are like if you have never been to one. But uh, yeah, so I went around uh, several times to the pen show. There was, it was separated into the three different rooms. Um, kept just going around and around and looking at all the pens and talking with people and seeing what they have. And speaking of seeing what they have, let's see what I ended up with. So one of the main things I wanted to get was a pen case, a little pen holder um, for just traveling around, moving around uh, to different areas. And so I got a Franklin Kristoff six pen case. This is their NWF, the natural wood fiber, so it's not actually leather, it just kind of looks like it is, but it's actually basically made out of a wood pulp, sort of like how paper is, um, that they put into this shape. And it is, obviously I got blue, they have three other colors, brown, green, and red, and so if you want to get one of those, I'll have a link down below, but yeah, so it has a little removable pen sleeve like that and if you have a 12 pin case I think that two of these fit into that so you can just easily swap around um, put that to the side another pen or one pen that I got it was just recently came under my radar was this retro Parker now on the outside just kind of looks like a standard Parker here but it is the Parker 50 Falcon with the quote-unquote unitary nib kind of like the pilot mu and i think it's just a cool looking pen uh the the vendor let me sort of dip it in some ink and write with it and it's actually not as bad as i was expecting for it to be such a solid nib uh with you know zero flex obviously but yeah i'm looking forward to getting this thing inked up and writing with it now another pen that i got <laughs> This is one of those pens that's on everybody's collection, and it is the Pilot Vanishing Point right here. Um, I got it in the matte black, kind of cool. I got a medium nib on it. Uh, this is one of those pens that, like I said, everybody has one who has a decent sized collection. I've been very excited to have one of these. Of course, it's been on my radar for a long time, but finally got one. I got a bottle of ink, just one bottle of ink, um, Robert Oster Fire and Ice. I always thought it was a nice color when I saw people post it online, so I'll have that. I got this bottle of ink actually from Lemur Ink, so gave free stickers for there, including Atlanta Pen Show 2022, so that's kind of cool. When I got the Vanishing Point, it came with this free pad of Rhodia paper. This is the I guess number 16, 14.8 uh, by 21 centimeters. Uh, I got the 5x5 five five grid, and so definitely always good to have some Rodia paper. I love that stuff. And then I got a small number 11 pad, uh, and I got this because this actually fits in my wallet. I have a wallet that comes with a pad of paper that I need to refill, and so this is gonna fit in there nicely. I decided to join the local, the Southeast Pen Collectors Club. So I got this little form here, or this little flyer here for that. And it also came, I don't know, they gave me a free pen, or basically just ch Chinese pens that they had laying on the table. I think they probably want to get rid of. But yeah, so basically this is a Twisby knockoff. So I don't know, whatever. Another big goal of mine for this pen show was to get some parts. Uh, specifically for an old Eversharp Skyline, which I have actually right here. A couple years ago, I restored this into at least writing shape. I was using it for a week. I was really enjoying it. And then I was using it on the couch, got up, went to go do something, sat down, and sat on top of it. So I've been trying to find good replacement parts. Uh, so far, I always came up empty-handed or they're just so expensive. Um, but luckily there was one guy at the pen show that had a box of Eversharp parts and Skyline parts. And so I didn't have that pen with me, but I found a couple ones that look like they might fit and I've already looked into it. This one is a perfect match. So I'll be able to restore that pen, which is good because that was one of my favorite pens is 
Um, as with most of my vintage pens, it's actually from my grandfather, so when I sat on that, I was really upset with myself. The, I guess, last item I got, or a couple items I got, relating to my Skyline over here, uh, I've been wanting to get more of these, and specifically, I wanted to try the modern version of them, and luckily, the Penn family, who now owns the rights to Eversharp and their brands, and um, products was there selling their modern versions and so I got a new modern skyline this is a piston filler and I am very excited about this I've been wanting to get one of the modern ones for a long time so I finally got one of those and then it also came with this pen sleeve here, which is kind of nice, from the pen family. All right, so that was my haul from the 2022 Atlanta Pen Show. And if you're interested in seeing any reviews of any of the particular products that I got, make sure you leave a comment below so I have an idea of what you guys want to see. And, uh, you know, I think I'm very excited about what I got here. Make sure you like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more as I, there will definitely be reviews and things coming out. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.